Hello again. So since the last video, I've now reached 100 subscribers. Now this isn't a special at all. It's just a normal video. Um, basically what I wanted to do was try out this fuel save stuff. I've seen videos on it before and I'm not really sure if they've sort of done it properly because I know with these fuel additives they, they're designed to work over multiple uses, multiple tanks worth of fuel and from the videos I've seen where people are using them what they've done is basically put the lot into the tank and then gone immediately after pulling away they've said oh yeah I noticed a difference and it feels loads better or you know it just it doesn't work that way so what I'm going to do is I'll put it in we'll do a bit of a review straight away so I can cover the basis of does it feel any different while riding first off just like other people's videos and then what I'll do is come back maybe after a week once the tank's been emptied and do a review again then and then again after another tank just to see what it's like um, so after both of those tanks we would have used the whole bottle hopefully depending on how many liters it says it does it might do more than that because obviously this is for a car it's not a specific bike cleaner fuel additive it's just a petrol system cleaner any petrol engine now this says i'm gonna have to put half a bottle in fact i'll read what it says on the back it says suitable for all petrol engines safer catalytic converters use every tank remove cap and foil seal pour half the bottle into fuel tank full cap I might need something to open this with. Keys. Full cap, something to open it with. You can use your key. Just poke a hole. Ready to go. So we've got more or less a few full tank in there. So it should be all right. What I'm going to do is, I'm assuming in fact, these markers don't really actually make much sense. So I'm assuming, given the shape of the bottle, around here is where I'm aiming for. So I'll just pour that in up to that mark, I guess. That should do. So, feels turned a bit red. Yeah. This stuff stinks. All right, that's it. Lid back on. I'll take it to work. Stick the camera and the mic on. We'll see how it goes, see how it feels, see how it rides, see how it sounds, see how it smells. You name it, I'll let you know. A few moments later. You know, I wonder what it is about roundabouts that people can't do. You look to the right, the very next exit that's to your right, if there's no cars there, you go. So why do we spend half an hour in a queue to get up to a roundabout that's empty? Well, empty in the bit that matters anyway. Like, why are we stopping? There was nothing coming right then. The car was obviously turning off. It really does confuse me. And the amount of diesel and things on the road at the minute as well. You'd think someone's fuel bill is going to be pretty expensive. But anyway, here we are again. It's about two weeks after I actually recorded the first part of this video because it's actually been raining more or less constantly since. And I figured if I tried to make a video in the rain, you wouldn't be looking at much. Yeah, so I recorded the video on the day and it was nice and sunny. It was about 26, 27 degrees. Um, I got called to do something on the, on the day just after that video and then figured that's all right because I can record the rest tomorrow. What do you know? 14 degrees, chucking it down. So, um, UK weather for you. 
you know, I'm just trying to remember what we actually did in the last video. We put in some fuel additive, didn't we? Because I wanted to see, I've seen some videos where basically people have put it in and then immediately gone, wow, I noticed loads of difference, when actually that's not really how they work. You know, if you look at the back, they say use every fuel tank. So when you actually look what's in them and what they could actually do to the engine, it's negligible anyway. So I, I don't really believe that you'd see much of a change. So what I'm actually doing today is proving or disproving what other riders have said about their bikes when they put that fuel additive in. And equally, seeing what it does in the long run. Because they'll put it in, go, yeah, it's amazing, and then end the video. And you're like, well, what's it like after you've used the whole tank's worth? So... I'm now actually commuting to work this morning. This is the first proper ride I've had on it since we put that additive in. I don't actually see much of a difference. Maybe there's a little bit of a, an effect, but that could also just be a placebo because I know I've put it in. I think it rides just the same. Sounds just the same. Has just as much power if I open her up. So. All in all, I don't feel that much. Now, if anything, it's not gonna give me 100 plus horsepower, you know? It's not gonna magically, by tipping that in the tank, double the performance of the engine. So, what I'm looking for here, if anything, is just a slight change. Maybe in the way the engine runs, whether there's just a little bit more power, is it smoother, I don't know. But so far, I don't see much difference. Now, my bike has actually had a little bit of an issue starting in the mornings when it's cold. I'm pretty sure that's actually down to the starter valves. And just so I don't have to pull it all out and um, sort it. I mean, I haven't actually got the kit to sort the starter valves yet. So all I've done is raise the idle RPM a little bit. And that seems to have sorted it. But I do also wonder I might give it a try after this video, you know, after I've used a full tank's worth of fuel with the additive in and then topped up with some fresh fuel. Does it help that? Does it start easier? You know, does it clear these sorts of things? First impressions, not really anything's changed. The bike doesn't feel any different, doesn't sound any different, doesn't have any more power. But I'm hoping that when we look back at the video, we might be able to hear some change in the engine, or even the way that it rides. I'll use this tank up, I'm going out tonight. I should probably actually use most of it, because it's going to be quite a long trip. And we'll see what it's like. I'll bring you back when it's done. Right, so it's been a bit hit and miss with recording the video. And um, what I've actually done is run a few tanks through. I've used a couple of the uh, fuel additives, just to try it out and run it through a few times try and get the best sort of response that I can get from the bike with, with the additive in the fuel and just to see if it did actually make any difference. That is hot. I won't touch that again. Um, I can actually say that I do not think it's made a single difference whatsoever. So I don't think I'll be using it again. Um, now, it might just be that brand, that particular brand that I've used, but I just chose that one because it's in most of the stores around where I live. Um, there may be some better ones online that you can get, and you might be able to uh, comment below the video if you can. If you, if you know any that might be better, I could pro perhaps do a review of that one as well. But um, no, the particular one I've used, not really any difference. So, no, nah, it's a no from me. Um, but that's not to say that, you know, it, someone else's bike might behave differently. This happens to be a 20-year-old fuel-injected, I've touched it again, that's hot, a 20-year-old fuel-injected in Honda VFR. It's Honda's first fuel-injected VFR. It's done 50,000 miles. It's just clicked over this week. And, um, no, you'd think something with that sort of that amount of miles and that age would see a bit of difference with an additive. Um, but no, hasn't made a single difference whatsoever. 
There you go. I mean, two tanks, uh, two bottles of additive and each bottle of additive done two uh, tanks of fuel and I made sure to do a normal tank of fuel between just as a sort of get the baseline each time. Yeah, no, nah, it doesn't make a single difference. So we'll leave it at that now. I think that's shown plenty enough that it's just a waste of time and money buying them. Um, if anything, it's a bit of a placebo in my opinion. So let me know your thoughts. We'll leave it at that. See you later.